looks like candy, tastes like candy. It is anything but, and there's a steep rise in children being exposed to them. We're talking about marijuana edibles or gummies. Tonight, Help Me Hank consumer investigator Hank Winchester teams up with Dr. Frank McGeorge to break down the problem, and he joins us live. And Hank, part of the issue is this is a problem hiding in plain sight. Exactly. That's exactly right, Kimberly and Devin. You know, these products, they're all over Metro Detroit, maybe in your home, too. They're legal. They're safe in the right adult hands. But you have to be careful because take a look at the packaging. It's bright. It's colorful. It doesn't look much different than the candy. That could be a big concern for the kids. That's why an item like this one, it could make a big difference. The packaging, colorful, fun, it grabs your attention, and especially the attention of small children that may think it's harmless candy. For a long part of it, we didn't know if he would be okay. Elizabeth Perry's son, Oliver, had to be airlifted after eating the edibles she uses for sleep. Elizabeth's nightly dose, just one. Her son, Oliver, ate 15. You know, nothing about it to a child gives any indication that it's something that he should not consume. The real number is startling. Since recent legalization in many states and during the pandemic, when many families found themselves spending more time at home, the number of children being treated after ingesting gummies shot up more than 1,300%. Here closer to home, according to the Michigan Poison and Drug Information Center, just 25 cases reported in 2018 but 188 reported last year. Those are cases reported to our center, so that's not necessarily a reflection of the actual true statewide burden. Um, so that would actually be an underrepresentation of, of actual exposures in, in kids that age. Because children are smaller, the same amount of marijuana has a much greater effect. Here's our local four doctor, Frank effect. McGeorge. The effects of marijuana can vary widely from simple confusion all the way to essentially seizure and coma. Children unlike adults don't think about dosage they may see a package of what they think is candy one piece not enough most will continue eating until the items are gone when a child eats marijuana they may have even more extreme or uncharacteristic behaviors falling downstairs pulling on heavy objects that kind of thing but the biggest concern really has to do with how far the problems can go in terms of seizure and coma remember seizures can actually be very dangerous if a child were to seize it is possible for them to throw up and aspirate the vomit in that case it could actually be life-threatening the edible and medical marijuana markets they're booming shops in many communities now across metro detroit and products and more and more homes. The industry is definitely a lot more mainstream now. Um, a lot of people are using it for their more therapeutic effects. Indy St. Louis is with Puff Cannabis in Madison Heights. It's our responsibility as adult consumers to, to pay attention and, and be responsible. These days, especially with the edibles, the packaging that we get, um, it's very easy to confuse the two when you're a young child or even a teenager or even possibly someone older like your grandparents. Um, everyone should, should still be careful with where they're placing these things. A few tips. Keep the products out of reach and out of sight. You may want to conceal the brightly colored packaging or transfer the product to something more subdued, clearly labeling the item. Certain brands have packaging that has a safety mechanism, or you can purchase a lockbox like this one that requires a key or a combination to get inside. Back out here live now, these lock boxes are sold at many of the same stores where you may buy those edibles. You can also find them online on websites like Amazon, for example. The price, uh, around $15 to $30, a, a small investment for something that's really important, protecting our kids. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Back to you. Hank, you know, you've talked about children, but what about your pet? I've often wondered sure. if your dog, yes. you know, gets into one of these edibles. And Kimberly, it can be a big danger. I mean, take a look. This dog looks nice and calm right now, but let's be real. We all know the family dog likes to get into things every once in a while. If there's candy out, they're going for it. And if there's edibles, they certainly don't know the difference. That's why I talked with the veterinary pros. And tomorrow at 5, you're not only going to learn about the potential dangers, but also what you can do to make sure that your pets are safe. We'll see you tomorrow live at 5 o'clock. You bet, because there's pet CBD products now. That's right. But that's You're not right. the same thing that we're talking about. Nope. Here. Uh, give Eunice a hug for us, Hank. All right, we'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>